So I think the plan today is to try, keep trying to get to the center of Giant's Deep. Is that what it was called? I forget the name of every planet every time. But I think there's, there's supposed to be a hint on Brittle Hollow. Is that the, the other planet that I can't remember? So we're going to head back there. We tried going there yesterday. Didn't have time. Okay, so the gravity cannon. That's something I was thinking about yesterday. Is that what it's called? I forgetting the name of everything and even planets and objects. But the I don't think that's hitting something. I think that that because my, my first thought was it was being like hit by a ship or something. I think it's firing, and that's what's breaking it up. And I should have put that together earlier. <laughs> Uh, where's the, where's the log? Yeah, let's take a look. Three more people wondering why they lost the internet. <laughs> You're so mean. Can't you just let him be horny at work? Um, this one. Oops. They put the. Orbital probe cannon, not gravity cannon. God, why did I say gravity cannon? I'm just like making up words. My tired brain is just making things up. Long range probe was recently launched from it. Okay, so it's it's firing a probe. That's what that's what's causing it to break up. Okay. Okay, so we need to get to um Brittle Hollow, right? There was something on the equator. I think the place that we're going is on the South Pole. They said the trailhead starts at the equator. So are you already in the office, Cass? How early do you get there? Wow. So we also found an escape pod. I just land on here. Is this another quantum thingamajig? Huh. Okay. What's up, Globo? Have not died yet today. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. You are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Descend the steps to the entrance below. So, okay, the quantum moon is the one on Giant's Deep, isn't it? The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Okay, where's the front door? The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant roots and all. This is not normal even for this alien planet, and I never see them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either those trees are a... Or a, are a Barrent, or my brain must be. Bloom is right, the trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees, there's other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. Rock is unusual for another reason, too, that it possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. I 
Hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? So it has to do with the rock? Unidentified signal. Power shard. And now 360. Ta da. Ooh, what is that? So, how do we get inside? Probably down the steps. Here we go. All right, it's been we I've been streaming for 5 minutes and I'm already distracted. This is good. The Southern Observatory. Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, below 90 meters. So, that must be telling me to go this way. That looks like an entrance. Crossroads. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Ascend these stairs? Get over here. Oh, is it, it's talking about these stairs? Well, I don't think that's giving me any kind of knowledge. a study guide to get a Microsoft Azure certificate. Now they want you to translate it into Spanish. Paste it into Google Translate and call it a day. Really wants me to launch a scout in here, doesn't it? What did that just say? It said like something integrity? missed that. Thank you for the follow. Trees detected. 
We used a deep translate. All right. Yeah, I want to drop the scroll. First off, let's let's stream behavior. Blah 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 blah. Um, what happens if you put scrolls in in different walls? Does that do anything? Okay, I figured that would be the case. I shouldn't have parked right on top of this thing. So, okay, that's surface integrity, okay. Maybe I didn't get here fast enough, or maybe there's something that I don't understand. But... God! I don't think that I can do anything with this right now. Or if I can, I don't know how. So we'll leave that for now and come back to it later. Well, I was going to take my ship somewhere. Let's actually get back in here. Take a look at the log. Rock shard appeared to wander. Something's happening in orbit around. Yeah, we already know that. I still have to go finally. I have to get in. I have to get in there. Escape pods. What's the white hole situation? The freedom of my warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. So that's when you go through, if you fall into the hole in the middle of, uh, Brittle Hollow. Hey, buddy. Wait, where is this? Lunar Lookout? Esker's Camp? Oh, okay. There we go. That shows you where it is. I can't find the entry that I'm looking for here. The Southern Observatory constructed a model of giant steep that revealed how an object might sink below. At the Southern Observatory. Wasn't that where I just was? Yeah. So that if we go here... I saw... I read something about the Southern Observatory. So maybe this is where we want to start. Okay, what did this say? South, 550 meters. 
Well, that's south. I don't think we're going to make it there on this loop. Can I go anywhere down here? think so. Not with that attitude. Not with any attitude. <laughs> um, I wonder if there was something here and I it like broke. All right, we're just gonna go this way, why not? Oh my God. So I just like orbited around the black hole for like a solid minute and then got launched directly into ghost matter. What are the odds? That was amazing. All right, let's head back to Brittle Hollow. I'm going to try just going to the south side of the planet. It said something about the trailhead on the equator or whatever, but... What is this one? Timber Hearth. Okay. That's it right there. Can't tell right now. Okay, there's the escape pod that we found yesterday. I'm guessing this is the observatory, so I'm just, I'm kind of just hoping there's a way in. It's a cool view. Kind of dizzying. That is not my ship. All 
Okay, that's a ways away. That's Feldspar. And that's, um... It's not Gabbro, is it? Maybe it is. I don't think there's a way in here. Not with that attitude. This, I think this might be like the first area on this planet that I visited. What's wrong, Misa? Oh, here's a car outside. Okay. Riddle Hollow Projection Stone? Take a look. So I don't understand what to do about this. So this is in the tower. <clears throat> Clearly. But it's just missing chunks of it. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. You're almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower's on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west, you can reach the tower from there. My gratitude for the directions. I'll see you soon. So this is just another hint on how to get there. We already found it. JK, good stream. Still a better first time chat message than anybody trying to backseat. Thanks for the follow. So... Okay, this is the Southern Observatory South. This direction is south. Man, I saw something over here, though. Where's this going? All right, let's, tr let's try taking this path.
you speed up a little bit. Very socially skilled. Makes one of us. All right, well, hopefully we'll get there by the time the universe explodes. Never mind, I'm literally not moving. That's better. I had it set to M for mini when I needed to have it set to W for Wombo. That's my bad. Misa, you're so cute. You're so cute. Well, I'm going south. That's a good sign. And I'm not going anywhere. And now I'm going into a black hole. Well, that was useful. Hang on. There's a station around here. What the hell is that? The interloper. Try seeing how far I've gone. What? Oh, you're talking about the... Okay, I see. Came in a little too hot. <laughs> oh. Okay, Kitty, I need to I need to access my keyboard. Cat, are you farting on my lap again? You are disgusting. What's the next death gonna be? Here's a smelly cat. My wife's still in bed. Go, go fart all over her. Am I going back? Yeah, I'm going back. So will I survive long enough for the universe to explode? That's the question. I didn't word that well, did I? So yeah, timer would be universe explodes. Something else is I die before the timer runs out, basically. Is there a hard time limit? Yeah, it's about 23 minutes. So once you once you hit that time, um, yeah, there's like a big explosion and the loop ends and you start over. So that's the North Pole. Have I been up here? Maybe I should check this out while I'm here. Why not? Just keep getting distracted. Okay. Twenty 
to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's black hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Inona's initial, uh, original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen those, these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Cassava. You know, I'm surprised with how much writing on the like they do on the walls. Like we haven't come across a single message that's like, for a good time, call Cassava. Or like, Felix is super hot. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. There are checkpoints with knowledge. All right, where's the little tablet thing? Where's my iPad? You gotta put it in there. Huh. Ooh, didn't even see that. The Hanging City is 50 meters below. We haven't been there yet. I think I might have seen the Hanging City from a distance. I don't think I went too far into it. Is there a way down below? Hmm. Maybe not. And I want to actually get to the observatory at some point. Keep getting distracted. I thought about just flying the whole ship in there. I don't think that would be a good idea. All right, there's the observatory. Um, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. And... What the hell is this? I don't remember seeing this. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Interested in your playful moon. Is it much like... They're, are they flirting? Are, is this just like nerdy flirting right now? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. I want to see your two volcanic moons. There'd be none of us left. There can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. Oh, test that null hypothesis. This moon isn't volcanic. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Okay. Well. 
I don't know what that taught me. The phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky. So they're talking about a moon that's not Hollow's Lantern. It's not volcanic. Sometimes it, le it leaves for nights at a time. Hmm. Well, we have still not reached the observatory. And I'm not sure what any of that taught me. Still. Oop. I'm paranoid that I missed some texts at like the previous place that I stopped. That's the escape pod, right? Yeah, that's the escape pod. Should use the signal scope more often to look for stuff. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Um, where's that other tower that I? There we go. Beautiful. Alright. That's what I was looking for. I'm gonna need fuel. There it is. So I already did this. That showed me, um, showed me the tower. Crossroads is west. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. What is this? Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Okay. Hopped out of the ship without the suit. No, no, I was just thinking about that earlier. I was just thinking about that. I was like, one of these times I'm gonna end up forgetting to put the suit on. It's only a matter of time. Southern Observatory. We got, we called the shuttle home. I don't know which way I want to go. You did that all the time. It's usually the first thing that I do when I go in the ship, so. We got about 10 minutes left in this loop. All 
Alright, this looks promising. It now looks a little less promising. Can I make it that far? Wait. Glad I saw that. doing cat going crazy I can't tell which way is up or down right now okay so this is up come on <clears throat> so I can't pick that up after you'd make some big discovery right before the end, you'd get way too excited. Uh. Like, I kind of want to do it on purpose just to see what happens, but I also, like, feel like that'll take the, the shock out of it when I do it accidentally, which is inevitably going to happen. Aha! All right, can I make it up there? All right, YOLO. We are in the observatory. Okay, so this is what I saw with the projection stone over on Giant's Hollow. Sick soundtrack. Giant's Deep. This is Brittle Hollow. Giant's Deep, okay. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Steep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. It's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude. Konoi is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone, but was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant Steep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> what a nerd. Okay, so this is the counterclockwise one that pushes you down. And then this one is clockwise and pushes you up. Yep. What's up, Stampede? He said, where are you? Hmm. We are learning. Let's see what else is in the observatory. Damn it, cat. Open up. Recording. I did it. I put the ship down safely. In that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to find try to find a way down. So this is right 
so I was right here. And I, so, I mean, that really wouldn't, that wouldn't have told me anything anyway, so. But yeah, completely missed that staircase. Now, where's my ship? Did it get launched into space? It certainly appears that way. How did that even... Oh, did it get... It probably got sucked into the black hole, didn't it? And then it came out up there? Me so... Hang on. It's cat. He's ruining your bet. <laughs> to be fair, you should have counted on the cat. It's getting closer. It might come back. I don't want to just sit here and see if it, it is. It was like 14. No, now it's getting farther away. All right, we're going in. So I was right. It got sucked in there. I'm like trying not to die here. <laughs> I want Cassandra to lose 50% fuel. Hey, we're in there. Um, let's check the logs. So, I mean, the hanging city, I didn't even really find. I was just above it. Quantum moon. Oh my God. We got so much, so much hot info here. Tornado simulation. So we're going back to giant steep. Most cyclones rotate clockwise. Um, the counterclockwise ones sink you down. There's a path beneath the surface that leads to the observatory. Okay. So this is what I couldn't remember. There's a door, but it's broken. I mean, I went there now and did I miss something? It's still, it's still a question mark. It's still a big old question mark. What do we know about the hanging city? Suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's northern glacier, the city is divided vertically into four districts. You lost this one? Well, doesn't it also pause when you look at the logs? Hmm. I mean, I can just drive around space like a madman. You never know what, what what's going to happen. Uh... areas are worth checking out. I saw that there was a, um, there was a Outer Wild speedrun at GDQ. Um, I think 100%. I'm excited to check that out when, uh, once I beat this. So what are you? Is that the thing that got launched from the cannon? Kind of looks like it. Well, I'm certainly approaching the sun quickly. I'm trying to find that thing that's... Where is it? Is that it? Where's the interloper? <laughs> like disappeared. Hmm. That's not a quantum thing, is it? That's brittle hollow.
right into the sun. That could be it. Timber hearth. I mean, we're not going to make it. Learn from watching you. You have a lot of experience flying into the sun. So there's still a lot of planets that I haven't really explored at all. But I do like this. Um, I think it was a good idea to try to um, focus on one thing at a time. All right, well, it's about to blow up, so we can't really do anything else anyway. There goes the music. What have we been up to today? Just watching the universe explode. Timer. Reset. Was it just two mods betting against each other? <laughs> found anything cool? So we went to we we went to Brittle Hollow. I finally found the Southern Observatory. Found out how to get under the current at Giant's Deep. So now we're gonna go back there. Sword versus checkmark. Oh, that's right. Cast isn't a mod. Of course, Cast isn't a mod. All right, have a good day, Val. I'm going to bike to work today. I'm pretty excited. I haven't ridden my bike in a while. Don't drive into the sun. I make no promises at all. All right, we're going back to we're going back to Giant's Deep now. I'm going to go under the water. Okay, so we're looking for counterclockwise cyclones. Can I? All right, there's there's no way. I have to like, if I want to get there, I have to really. Um, approach slowly. Okay, these are all clockwise. All clockwise, 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 except for this one. You're counterclockwise. Holy shit. All right, we made it. Okay, that's Gabbro. Wait, change frequency? Huh. I honestly just realized that was a thing. I guess there's a giant... Is it a... Okay, there's stuff inside it? Alright, what happens if I go inside? That's what he meant when he said he was surprised he wasn't struck by lightning. So 
So is this something I can repair? So we're in here, now what? Who's the cat? Up. Oh. Okay. Looks like a tree or something. All right, let's try again. All right, let's try it without the ship. It seems like a good idea. <laughs> it like reset my suit. Damaged me a little bit. Will I die? Well, yeah. So I'm in. I'm in here. I just don't see the point of being in here. locked on to right now oh that must be the uh, the thing that's orbiting the planet what about these jellyfish looking things ramming speed all right that worked well this is like uh it's subnautica all over again me just running into fish. Whoa. All right, let's take a look at the log. I don't remember how you figured it out. Ocean depths. Ocean man. Surprisingly calm, some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Alright, I need a giant, like, rubber bodysuit. to find the kinkiest in Omai and raid their closet. Ramble Island. Feldspar found a way to reach, a cor uh, reach the core. So, I mean, there's one more layer we have to get through. Dumb luck. My med kit. Something just hit me. Oh, I got launched out. <laughs> no, I didn't. Never mind. Okay. Oh, I did. I am outside the current now, aren't I? Yeah. Up we go. Oh, that makes me dizzy. Oh, God. All right. Um... Let's chase this down. Oh, 
velocity matched, but then I just end up sinking into the, uh... If I go, like, outside it. Wait, can I land the ship on top of it? Oh god. Good enough for me. Hey, we actually got here. Wait, didn't- haven't I been here before? Didn't I actually get in here once? And then I did this, and I had no idea what it was. Or maybe there was another door that was a lot like the- oh, okay, no, this is different. Ah, oh, that looks really cool. Control module. <laughs> so this is what I saw from inside... from the construction site. Launch module projection stone. A giant's deep projection stone. Let's take a look at that. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbit orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here. D didn't I read this somewhere else? I wish I were, but no, there are they aren't certain they can fix the problems. The orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Yeah, so I definitely read that already. But it, this is also the first time that I've been here. Did that just shift gravity? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't know what I'm doing here. Or is it? Launch module? The launch module isn't looking too hot. This is the one thing the game doesn't do a good job of telling you. We shall see. I better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components soon. We'll know the eye's precise location. Cassava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. I see, and am I right to think that, consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting? <laughs> I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. So they're searching for the eye of the universe. The probe must travel as fast as it can or far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. Alright, they went and fucked everything up. So it's all the fault of uh, Avens and Mallow. You can blame them. 
Giants. All right, what do you want to show me on Giants Deep? All right, so this is where, yeah, this is where I used that one, and then that showed me... So are these, like, linked then? Is that the idea? All right, I don't know what this thing does, but I'm fixing to find out. Okay. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe tra trajectory gravity field activated. 13 minutes, eight seconds ago, re request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Projects. Okay, so that's going up. Ship log updated. I mean, so I put the marble in there. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Probe tracking module is receiving data from the probe. Okay, so we definitely want to go in there. Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon launch request received. Probe launch successful. So I'm reading these backwards. I should go top down. So this is like, it, it's showing me what happened. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Control modules intact. That's the one we're in. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Exposed to the vacuum of space. And probe tracking module is missing. Oh, it's missing. So that's just flying around space somewhere. Interesting. What's the timer for? Every loop in this game is like 22, 23 minutes long. So after that amount of time, the universe explodes and you start over, basically. So I'm keeping a timer going to see roughly where I am in the loop to see how much time I have left. So we want to see, we want to find the probe module, but it's, it's gone. Can we see anything from this? I keep accidentally reversing gravity. So there's the three modules on the outside, and that one... That must be the probe module, right? Yeah, probe tracking module. Oh, here comes the cat. Make some trouble. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Hey. It's hard to play and pet you at the same time, bud. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go back we came from. No, no, no. Don't sniff the Go XLR. I don't like that. There you go. It took you an embarrassingly long time to figure out how to use the big computer thing. You mean the thing where you just move the ball around? 
I feel like I just lucked into it because I, as soon as I reversed, or as soon as I stepped on like the reverse gravity thing, like my cursor immediately went to the ball. Oops, come on. Probe tracking module. So this is the one that's just gone. So if I go out here. Is it anywhere nearby? Hello? It's the ship. Let's try, let's try this one. It did... Said it's exposed to space. Yeah, let's go to the launch module. See if that tells us anything. Oh, boy. Oh, we can't. We have to launch a scout, huh? Well, it looks like we can get in from the other side. The whole computer records thing. Each nodule accessed logs like four times. Wait, did I miss something? Okay, we can go out. Ugh. Gotta slow down. Go out through here. There we go. Control model projection stone. Oh, I found them. Oh, the little disc thing. Okay. I see, I see. Oh, here's the probe tracking module projection stone. Maybe this will tell me where it is. I know exactly where it is. It's in the core of Giant's Deep. Those are definitely the trees that I saw. That's the lightning. So, is there any hint about how to get inside? That's gotta be where that is. I mean, it's also orbiting Giant's Deep, so it would make sense. Mallow, my better 50%, because I was sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, we'll know the eye's precise location. You and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting. We are not under any... So, we, I read all this already. So, let's remove that. Set that down. Remove that. Set that down. I'm, I don't understand how these work. Kind of weird. Imagine Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't you won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Uh oops. Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? Slightly. I would mind. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Okay, so now we know where it is. We're trying to get there anyway. Now it's just a matter of figuring out how to get past that lightning storm around the core. That's got to be where it is, though. Um, three minutes of oxygen remaining. 
The universe is about to explode. This is like perfect timing. Perfect timing. Hey, what's up, Thoughts? Do I want to know? No, no. Or do I want to know what? The how to get through the to the core? I mean the answer to that is still no, I just It's curious. Let's take a look at the log. Okay. Oh, how the projection stones work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I do want to know. Why you keep reading the same thing? Yeah, I'd be interested to know that. Because they, they seem... Um, like, I, I feel like I kind of have an idea. Like... It, it just seems like there's multiples for the same thing. Projection stone from A to B is the same as a projection stone from B to A, and I've read them at both locations, A and B. Ah, okay. Okay. All right, that's perfect timing, because I got I to gotta get going. Um, biking today, so it's going to take me a little extra time to get to work to make sure that I'm ready. We got a lot of knowledge. I feel like we learned a lot. <sighs> tomorrow will be an interesting day. I don't know how, I don't know what we'll start with tomorrow, though. I don't really want to just like bang my head against the core of Giant's Deep. Maybe we'll go try to find something. Maybe we'll go to a new planet or something. Find some new stuff. It's great to learn because knowledge is power. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. That's going to do it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. We will continue this tomorrow morning.